Hey everyone, it's Michaela. I am a six-figure full-time Amazon seller. Last month I hit 100k in sales and I also had my very first 10k profit month. Got a lot of requests on Instagram asking me to do a live sourcing video, so I thought, you know, why not? Today we'll just cover some tips, tricks, you know, kind of how I uh, read Keepas, how I decide if an item is worth purchasing or not, and all of that jazz. So I start with, usually myself, I start with a replan that I have in my catalog, but some people are just starting, so we're going to start with a brand that I know that's being sold by retailers, so Tree Hut is being sold by, you know, Walmart, Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, and other sites. You know, I do this because I want to try to, like, eliminate or lower the risk of finding a bunch of wholesale people, so with wholesale accounts, you're going to get a really cheap price, and obviously, if you're going to buy at retail price, you're just not going to be able to compete. So this is why I chose Tree Hut specifically. It's one of the ones a lot of people use because we all know that it's being sold by other retailers. So uh, when I'm looking at a product, when I first take a glance at it, I'm looking at the BSR, the estimated sales, you know, check the alerts tab, make sure there's no IP complaints, you know, make sure it's not hazmat, dangerous goods, variations, etc. And then I'm always looking at the 90 day. Um, I just like this because it gives me a stable uh, baseline. I don't want to buy on a price spike, so this kind of evens things out for me. And then obviously look down here, make sure the same thing, you know, IP and IP issues, make sure it's not meltable because we're not in uh, the season where we can FBA meltable if you haven't already sent it in previously. And then you could go down here, obviously, if you want to do FBM, you can switch this back and forth. There's some people that actually don't know this exists, so I thought I'd talk about this a little bit. Uh, so yeah, th this is already set to FBA, and if you want to do FBM, for example, you can just switch this tab over. And this FBM cost is whatever you pay for shipping, so say you pay $5 to ship this, then this is what your estimate's going to be once you type in whatever the price is. So we switch this back. I usually do all my pricing based on FBA, though, because... Um, that's what I mainly do right now, but I'm trying to work on FBM. I'm probably going to get to about 15% this month, but not for these types of products, only back to school for right now. I also like to filter this by uh, Prime only. Like I said, I like to focus on FBA right now, so I really don't care about what the FBM people are doing. I'm just competing against these FBAers. And then obviously come down here to the chart. I like looking at this Keepa, you know, there is a Keepa up here as well, but this gives you a little bit more data and it's a little larger and easier to read. Um, you can see in this background, this green is the sales rank and then you've got the price line and it's very stable as you can see. It doesn't fluctuate too, too much. And then obviously here again is the seller rank. And then here is showing the, the offer count, which it was at like 200 at one point in time and then now it's down to about... 17, 16 ish. Uh, the data tab, I use this a lot um, for the offers and the buy box statistics. If you do, don't already have like the paid version of Keepa, I'd highly recommend getting it. The free version, obviously, you don't get um, all of the, the statistics and stuff that you need. It's good to start out, but like within you know a few weeks, you're going to notice that you're going to really need the paid version. And honestly, I started with just the free version for a few months, and I made so many mistakes because I didn't know that there was a variations tab, and I didn't realize there's a buy box percentage. So, highly, highly recommend. You know, I think it's like twenty some dollars, or even cheaper than that. So, it's really not that much compared to other tools. Um, okay, so we can look at the buy box statistics. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So you can see here, I like to make sure this is under about 50 or 60%. Depending on the product, uh, every product is different. So like I always say, uh, everything I do is shades of gray. It's never black and white. So depending on the product and the category, it depends on what percentage I'm looking for. But this, as you can see here, no one's really mainly controlling. It's pretty spread across. So this is a good example of a good um, buy box statistic spread. And then the offers tab, I like using this kind of to just look at what people are selling it at in the past, their average, and then, you know, within the last 30 days shows kind of an estimate of how many they've sold. Like I said, it's a very rough estimate because people do hide their stock, and this is also not including the out-of-stock um, sellers. So as you can see here, you know, some of these people are probably hiding their stock, and it's not going to exactly match up. So if you look up here and you look down there, you're going to see a discrepancy for that reason. So I just use it kind of as just a tool to kind of re like confirm what I'm thinking about buying. So like my test buy, I uh, use that the top 
number and then I used kind of this just looking at individual kind of getting an idea of what the buy box percentage uh, compared to what they're selling a month um, it's just just an easy way for me to kind of just double check myself and it's it's all about double checking and uh, just learning just by doing so I really think it's kind of important to to just just try it out maybe maybe you won't like it maybe you will but I found that I've made less mistakes when I kind of double check myself and use more than just one data point so we can see if we can maybe find this um, but I doubt it just based on previous knowledge like I said you'll know <laughs> you'll start kind of picking up things uh, just tidbits of knowledge you know just knowing how much things are going to cost knowing if you're going to be able to get that for that price or not just by doing like spending thousands of hours looking at Keepa charts and just scrolling through on uh, different sites. Like I said, I don't even see, I don't even see it to be honest. It might be sold out. <laughs> Target had it, but it was, it's out of stock as well. And it's not really the price that we want to be. We want to be at 844. So we can go ahead and take a look at maybe some storefronts on here. Focusing on the FBA sellers, I like to focus on sellers under you know two two to three hundred reviews. Uh, like I said, helps uh, lessen the wholesale accounts. But just because they only have you know two or three hundred accounts doesn't mean that they don't have wholesale accounts. Because I have less than that, and I do have some wholesale accounts. So let's try bringing this one up. Now, when I first started, I kind of scrolled aimlessly through all of these. Well, not exactly all of them, but probably a good 20 to 30, depending on how many they had. Uh, when I got a little more wiser, I decided to just go by brand name or by category. Uh, it's just so much easier. You kind of get, uh, you just you get good at a category or a brand, and then that's when you kind of go hard and you just source that. Um, I'm really good at sourcing clothing right now and shoes. Uh, I'm working on ma makeup and beauty, so just just find something that you like. I always get this question of what product should I start with or what category. Find something that you like, that you, you would love to sit here for hours upon hours looking at, and do that. That's, that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you because sometimes you're going to spend six hours, you know, just looking at these products and you may not find anything when you're first starting out. And that's okay. I wasn't good at sourcing when I first started out. I could have spent six, seven, eight, nine hours a day just looking at Kipa's and, and not find anything at all. But now I can sit down for an hour and find at least a handful. So... It just, it just, it's a slow process and it's a slow grind. But if you really go hard, you will, you will see results. What you put into this is what you're going to get out of it. So you can't expect to do, you know, two hours of work and get six out. So when you're starting, at least. So we can just look at maybe some. Uh, let's do some like health and household. Maybe there's not really. They don't have a whole lot of stuff. Like they just got a whole lot of books. So we'll just skip this one. Um, not really a big, per big book person, so. Looks like they have some Nike stuff. I'm not really loving that chart. As you can see, it's kind of on a downhill slide. Um, same thing with this. It's kind of falling off a cliff. This is a good example of what not to buy. Um, it looks like maybe it was on sale or something at some point and a bunch of sellers joined it, but we can double check and see if I'm right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, you see this sharp decline right here it with Paired with this high offer count, this is an example of something definitely to not buy right now. This may rebound a little bit later, or it may not. Who knows? Uh, there's just too many people on this listing. It was probably on sale at one point in time, and everyone kind of jumped on, and it went from four-ish to almost 60 in a small amount of time. So not good, not good at all. Like some of these I know that you can't get for this cheap, like four bucks. Like you're going to have to use some kind of coupons or something. A lot of these listings are they're coupon driven and sale driven. So if you don't have those tools, then you're not going to be able to find them. But let me see this one. 
I don't do a whole lot of kids' shoes. So I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen this listing, actually. BSR looks good. Sales look good. This is kind of dipping a little bit. It looks like this seller count isn't really going up, staying pretty stable from here. Maybe there's um, other sizes that look better. Let's see if we can even actually get this for this price first. Nope, not here at least. Uh, let's see. They don't have any more. This is, I like when they do this and they say put it in your cart. Just tell me the price. <laughs> 1680, that's not going to work either. Okay, moving on. Don't spend a whole lot of time on products. Just keep it moving. Um, it's just not really worth it. If you don't find a few good ones at the beginning, I kind of just keep on moving. We can look at maybe beauty. See this? It says Walgreens. Walgreens do have a lot of sales frequently, so they could be on sale at Walgreens. Let's see. It's a pack of two, though. Mm, nope. It's only one for 21 bucks. Let's go back. Scratch that. Just kind of scrolling through these, just looking, you can pretty much kind of get a good idea if you can find these for that price or not. Um, I've just looked at so many items in the past that it just kind of becomes second nature. When you're first starting out, you may have to click through, you know, a lot of the listings just to kind of get a feel for it. And that's okay. I mean, I've been doing this for a little longer than, you know, newbies, so... Um, wouldn't worry about it. It's a pack of two. Maybe Walgreens has something on sale. Walgreens is usually undervalued. Here we go. Buy one, get one half off. We need two. Let's see, that's not going to cut it either. Maybe if there's another coupon, like 20% off or whatever that they sometimes have. Keep on scrolling. I'm not liking these ranks. Um, let's go back. can find some good Crayola for back to school, possibly. It's going to be very hot very soon. Let's bring this up. I'm not sure if we can find it for that cheap, but we're going to give it a try. No. I guess people saw that and got on that for back to school or whatever. Let's 
okay, keep moving. If I see Amazon this listing, I usually don't like to buy when, you know, Amazon is on it. You know, if Amazon is on it periodically, I will do FBM um, for that reason, can I, so I can get in and get out very quickly. Uh, the rest of these don't look that good. Let's see, maybe Beauty. See Amazon Orange right here, Orange. Um, there's no buy box on this one, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. I've sold plenty of times on no buy box listings and I've done very well. So looks like I've actually looked at this in the past because I've got the, the data right here. It's very stable. This is a good example of a very stable uh, price. BSR has also stayed pretty stable as well. Offer count looks good right now. It was kind of high and it's tapered off. Let's see if we can maybe find this. We got Target. Maybe Alta has a sale. Alta does have a lot of sales, so always a good look. They've got 10% cash back today, so um, if you're watching this, um, definitely check out Alta. They have 10% cash back today, just for today it says. so. Um, Target does have this for $8.99. Um, so if you do live in a tax-free state, that would probably be a good purchase. Let me double check the buy options. Actually, it kind of went down a little bit. This price sometimes doesn't always match. So I've got to make sure, never mind, don't don't buy this. Not right now. Looks like some FBMers have started tanking that a little bit. We'll go back. Keep searching. Sometimes it takes a little bit to find something good, especially when you have picky criteria. Uh, I just don't buy everything that I see. Let's see if we can find some of this. I'm guessing this is probably a sale that you'll have to find. Yep. It's common with a lot of makeups. Uh, people buy it when it's on sale, and if you if you really pay attention, you'll notice that there's a trend in sales that certain places do have uh, the same sales within so many you know months of each other. I think this is the same thing. The buy box is suppressed. Oh, we're not gonna be able to find that for cheap. see this. Sunscreen's hot right now because of summer. What's up with these no buy box? Let's see if we maybe can find this. Target has it. The, you gotta double check all of this, the ounces and stuff. Make sure it's 50. It's not gonna be cheap enough. Maybe Walgreens has a sale. It's a three dollar off one. It's not going to help us. Hmm, okay. Continuing on. Just keep going back. Don't really like this one, they don't have very many ASINs. Looks like they got a lot of clothing. A lot 
of kids. I usually don't really sell kids stuff. A lot of high BSR stuff. Let's see. They got a lot of clean. Let's try. Let's try beauty. This seems to be their best for their, their most ASINs. guessing these are also sale items as well. Looks like I've looked at this already in the past. Nope, too small. Let's go back. This up maybe. Bad. Bath and Body Works, they do have frequent sales as well. Is this even the same? Buy three, get one, three, one free. That's definitely not going to get us to that point. Try home and kitchen, maybe. So that's not going to work. I looked at those. Some coach stuff. Let's see. Hmm. Wouldn't look here. It's four thousand. This would be okay. Looks like they got a lot of tree hut stuff, so they're probably selling stuff from you know retailers. Hmm. Bring this up. This one does have a variation, so this kind of could be a good point to talk about. So when I'm looking at variations, I am looking at the variations tab itself. I am ranking these uh, from you know the highest to the lowest amount. As you can see here, it's a pretty uh, even split between you know this first one and the second one. Is there even a difference? It's just a little bit heavier, I guess. Okay, we can move this. Let's see if maybe we can find. Same thing. Double check Alta. Close, but not quite. Let's go back. I'm gonna stay away from Tree Hut from now on. <laughs> We're not finding anything good with Tree Hut. Like this, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. Wouldn't mess with these at all. Amazon again. See that chart? Don't like that chart. It looks like it just took a nose dive off the cliff. Uh, let's see what else we could we look at. We got some tart stuff. I've sold tart stuff in the past. Uh, this is probably another sale buy. A lot of these makeup brands, they do have a lot of 
good stuff because you got a bunch of variations just like you know selling Nike or Adidas stuff there's just so many different variations and you could just find one listing and you know have five other ASINs you can use because just off of one so I do like beauty slash makeup for that reason some people are super afraid of variation listings because they are an added complexity you know you have to think about the buy box not the buy box you have to think about the variation percentage obviously you do have to look at the buy box as well but um, you gotta make sure you know that you're buying the variation that is gonna actually sell because there's some variation listings that there's hardly any sales or they don't even sell at all so these are travel size This is full size, like I said, probably something that was on sale. Let's go ahead and go back. See if we can find maybe one good item. The luck's not looking too good. <laughs> as long as we're learning, that's all that matters to me. These used to be really hot. I do know that. This is a lot. I've never sold any of these before. Looks like they're about nine bucks. It's not not good. Let's see if we can find. This Olay. <laughs> See if we, maybe we can find it. This is a pack of three. Fifteen. Still not good enough. Maybe a four greens out of sale. <laughs> uh. Here's another one of these razors. Number seven also has a lot of sales. I do know that too. Walgreens just had a big one. It's all about being in the loop as well. Uh, just knowing when sales are, you know, subscribing to email lists, just kind of knowing where to look for coupons, you know, just Google searching coupons, you know, just for example, say I want to look up Walgreens. Uh, coupons. Just type in Wal Walgreens coupons in your browser and then kind of just look from there. You can go on the Walgreens site itself. There's also like Retail Me Not, Coupon Cabin. Um, this is just a good example like, you know, 20% off your $25 plus on your first qualifying, qualifying order. Uh, and you got 20% off on this stuff. Sometimes you find some good gems doing it like this. And then I also use Honey. Um, let's see if I can bring it up somewhere. Take this down. Redo this. We're looking for... stock but for example let me just bring up Walgreens or something random does not do that oh like for example this is actually uh, buy one get one 40% off so there's a good deal at Walgreens right now I knew there was something something somewhere <laughs> they always have stuff on sale um, so for example I do have honey on here 
So sometimes you can find some coupons like last successful coupon, welcome 25. Let's see. So you can do same day order, 25% um, off, and then health 20 right now is going on. Um, the new 10, welcome 10. Like this shows you some really good stuff sometimes. Sometimes it's really annoying because it pops up on your screen all the time like this. And it gets very, very annoying, but uh, it has some good gems on it that kind of make it worth it. And then the same thing with uh, Rakuten. You can go on Rakuten and look up, you know, kind of what what percentage, you know, cash back is going on right now. And sometimes you can use that to kind of reverse and go back to the site. And they sometimes, you know, have uh, sales. Okay, I, that's not what I wanted, but that's fine. <laughs> Try this again. I just want Rakuten by itself. Thank you. Let's see, here you go. You can see Alta, like I said, Nike. You know, some of these other ones are a couple percent. Of that FIDA cost right now is 10%. That's a good one. Yeah, Macy's, Adidas. So sometimes you can go on these and you can find, um, you know, good sales. Like, I know Nike did have a sale. I don't know if it's still on or not. Yeah. So, personally, I love sales. Um, I buy on a lot of sales, but it just depends on the sale itself. I um, I try to stay away from, like, the big, the big sales, like that Nike sale. I personally haven't bought anything um, on sale from Nike from there. Uh, just because I've noticed a lot of people also buy during that time, and the, the prices tend to tank. Um, and you can also just hold out because a lot of the stuff that, um, personally that I buy, it's very fast selling. So, and it, there's just so many, um, people wanting it that, you know, people clear out pretty quickly, but I'm all about turning my capital and kind of selling things before 30 day periods. So I just, I kind of stay away from the big, uh, sales myself. You can see right here, like 20% off. This is kind of a low key sale. But everybody's different. I do know people who go like crazy on these big sales and they do just fine. But it's just a personal, uh, my personal risk tolerance. I've been burnt in the past with these things. So I kind of stay away from them as much as possible. I'll find all like the low key sales like 20% off, 30% off. Stuff that is not like super advertised. You know, maybe I can find like a 20% off coupon somewhere that most people aren't going to know where to look for it at or find it. So that's a good, another good tip that I'd recommend, you know, kind of just keep searching. I mean, if you're on the email, if you're on the email list, you know, they will tell you kind of when sales are going to be. They sometimes throw in like coupons, you know, if you're just just for being on the email list, like 10 percent off some of that stuff. And it all adds up. 10 percent off doesn't seem like a lot. But if you pay sales tax like I do, mine's 7.25 percent. That at least covers my sales tax. So that, you know, that's just an added little cushion of margin for me. We just did this one. Don't think we can find it for that. Mm. Can look at it. If I feel hesitant about something, I can just I'll go quickly look it look it up. But usually my first guess is that's right. Yeah, like I said, that's... Which one is this? The pink one? Yeah. Now this is IP alert. Um, it's a special Chrome extension that I paid for about probably close to six to eight weeks ago. I kind of relied off of Seller Amp. Um, I just kind of like having the extra, like I said, I double check myself a lot. So this is a good example of that. I, you know, use Seller Amps and I use IP Alert. Uh, it's kind of on the expensive side, but it's a, you know, lifetime like membership. So you don't have to pay for it. You pay for it once and then you get it for life. So, you know, I always recommend, you know, beginners kind of just use whatever you have. 
Um, then once you're able to, you know, take your profits or whatever, if you have the extra cash to kind of to pay for it, then go ahead and do that as well. But yeah, this is, it's very obvious. It'll tell you right there, like it's hard to miss. Um, and some of these are accurate and some of them aren't. Um, this is just crowdfunded, so... Um, there's obviously errors with everything. You may find out that some when I and I mean you've already sold on there in the past, never had any issues. It comes up on here. It's happened to me multiple times. So just do your own due diligence. Look at the uh, look at the keepa. That's like a a good indicator if something is gonna. Because if you see a giant drop off, like I don't see any giant giant drop offs right here, but that doesn't mean anything. It could still be. Um, I've personally sold method in the past. Knock on wood. Um, never had any issues, so it's just risk tolerance. Usually I stay away from anything that says IP. Um, I just don't want to risk it. Not worth it. Like I said, this isn't going to be good either. Just kind of keep going through these. This is kind of on the higher end of my, what would I like, but we're just not having too good of a look today. Maybe if I just do a general search. I know these are crazy right now. Um, let's see if we can even find any in stock. This rank is crazy. 72 BSR. 5,460. That's crazy for some cameras. <laughs> Disposable cameras. Let's see how many. Pack of two. This is it, but obviously Walmart is not selling that. That is a third-party seller, which I tend to stay away from. You just don't know the integrity of these people that are selling. I know they may be fine, they may be legit stuff, but I just don't take the chance. I just don't trust people. So a lot of them are just sketchy individuals that send you the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, just from previous experience myself. Uh, Let's see, maybe we could do something else, health and household. A lot of Amazon, don't want to mess with that. The Ordinary does really good stuff. They sell very well. It's just you gotta find it for that price. There's just no way you're gonna find that for five bucks. Scrub Daddy. I don't think I've ever sold anything Scrub Daddy before. Looks like it does really well though. <laughs> we'll go down in there and look at the variations as well when I'm done. Let's see. I'm not seeing anything that I that would be good. Let's go down here to variations tab. Uh, oops. So you can see this one sells the most just based on the reviews for it. Uh, the second one, as you can see, it sells 9%, so not a whole ton, but I'm guessing it's probably a little more than what you'd imagine. You've got to think about it as, you know, this sells 6,333 a month. So 9% of that is still, a you know, a decent chunk. Um, so let's go ahead and look real quick, kind of double check this math. This is exactly how I do it. And you may be shocked at the number. See? <laughs> You're going to be shocked. See, PharmaPax, if you don't know who PharmaPax is, is, they're like the number one third party seller on Amazon. So you can see that. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Don't compete with, I don't like to compete with PharmaPax because I know they're just, they're, they're the boss and I'm just a little peon. So. But like I said, that right there, nine percent, and they still are selling roughly around this, around two, two thousand ish. Um, like I said, it's an estimate, so don't use it as a final number. But probably way more than what you what you imagined. So it's always good to double check it like that. Mm, let's look at this. We're just striking out IP, so I just click off that. Just forget about that. Pretend like that you never saw it. <laughs> See maybe this number seven. Come 
Oh, more greens. Do we got anything good? Gotta buy one, get one 40% off. And a free gift. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, that doesn't work out really. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, this pretty much is how I do it every day. I'm usually sourcing pretty much every day. Last month, I kind of slacked a little bit towards the end because I kind of ran out of capital and couldn't purchase anything. So, uh, but yeah, pretty much this is what I do day in and day out. Um, like I said, you're gonna you're gonna probably suck at it at first, and you kind of just gotta keep going, keep pushing through. Eventually, you're gonna find your stride, and then it's just your, the sky's the limit after that. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, drop them below. Um, you know, if you want me to cover anything specifically in my next video, go ahead and drop that. And as always, like and subscribe for more. See.